So here is our Oswald's dilution law. Oswald's dilution law for weak electrolytes. According to Hernier's theory, weak electrolytes are partially dissociate into ions in water, which are in equilibrium with the undissociated electrolyte molecule. Oswald's dilution law relates the dissociation constant of the weak electrolyte with the degree of dissociation and the concentration of the weak electrolyte. So you are able to see HCl ionosis in water to become H plus and Cl minus. Over here sodium hydroxide NaOH will give Na plus and OH minus. And this is arginous acid and this one is base. Consider the reaction that's a dissociation equilibrium of acetic acid. which is a weak electrolyte in water will give acetate and hydrogen it's acetate ion so alpha is the degree of association so it's dissociation which represents the fraction of total concentration of acetic acid that exists in the completely ionized state hence one may uh, alpha is the fraction of the total concentration of acetic acid that exists in the unionized state. You are able to see Ka which is equal to the H plus product 1 and product 2 ions divided by the reactant. If C is the total concentration of acetic acid initially then at equilibrium you got C alpha and C alpha and C into 1 minus alpha represent the concentration of H plus and acetate ion with acetic acid respectively. If alpha is too small then Ka is equal to alpha square into C and alpha is equal to root of Ka divided by C where H plus and the CH3CO minus is equal to C alpha which indicates H plus is equal to C into Ka divided by C power 1 by 2 which is nothing but Ka into C power 1 by 2 that's root of Ka into C but Ka is equal to this one and this is known as Oswald's dilution law for weak bases it's Kb is equal to 1 minus alpha square C into 1 minus alpha and alpha is equal to root of Kb divided by C Here Kb is nothing but the dissociation constant of weak bases and alpha its small values. So this is how the acid constant and the base constant and alpha value is. But this law fails for strong electrolytes. For strong electrolytes, A tends to be 1.0 and therefore the Ka increases tremendously. That's it. Thanks for watching on GTEC Techno Solution product from GTEC Company. Thank you.